the dance was one of the main uh, means of meeting people, of socialising. Um, and for some people it was simply going along and having a, look, uh, you know, a lot of good fun, but it was also uh, the venue for courting for a lot of young people and they often met, met their partners in life at, at dances. So a, a very important um, part, um, and including the music, of course, because the towns had their own musicians, and whether it be the brass band, the pipe band, or the dance band, um, very, very important. Something we're missing today, I think. It was, it was a sort of hub of social life, the Workers' Hall. Workers' Hall was absolutely amazing, really. To me it was, anyway, and to all of us. Oh, it's where you met all your opposite sex <laughs> and had dances with the ones you fancied or liked, you know. It's, um, it, it was just, it, like in our days, we had no TV uh, or anything like that. We just had to make our own fun and dancing was one of it. It was a great mecca for miles that everybody, yeah. everybody came to the workers' hall on a yeah. Saturday night. But I always wanted to come to Maryborough uh, because there were so many interested in the dancing. Workers' hall. And Maryborough was the place for ballroom dancing. Uh, also for uh, jazz. And uh, oh, they just come along. As soon as you walked in, you had about three or four dancers booked up. They were waiting to have a dance with you. Well, I suppose it was the biggest social thing, wasn't it? Yeah, right. Th that yeah. just, if you didn't go, well, it was terrible because you missed it. You didn't have time to have supper. You had to keep dancing, didn't you, Doc? <laughs> <laughs> the progressive barn dance sometimes you'd see somebody up ahead and you think, oh, God, you know. <laughs> and then sometimes you'd see a stranger and think, oh, wow, who's he? <laughs> well, they used to have, you know, good dancers. The only one I didn't hack was the Alberts. And uh, some of them would get the girls spinning and let them go and they'd go under the seats, you know, because it's a pretty aggressive sort of dance. But they used to have the pride of air in the barn dance. Pretty barn dance was the best because you met everyone in the hall. And uh, That's where you got your... Quick step, quick step. And got the, your ride home for the night. <laughs> the, the foxtrot and the quick step, they were the main ones there. There weren't a lot of cars. A lot of people didn't have a car. Uh, because it was just after the war and um, so everyone rode a bike, um, lots of people rode bikes, men rode bikes to the dance, didn't they? Yes. Yeah, so. Some used to come, come, some used to come in horses. I remember t Tommy Clifford used to come in from Time or in a yeah. horse and cart. Mm, they used to come yeah, in. used to come uh, in from there. Girls abroad used yeah. to ride in and they'd always had big flower in their hair. Yeah, yeah. Well, we didn't think it was far then. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, we walked. Everybody walked. Yeah. There weren't any motor cars. There weren't any motor cars. And that was why it made the dance such a success because it was a wonderful place to go on a Saturday night. And I remember my sister and I danced. We went to a dance every night in the week. And when it got to Saturday night, my father said, you're not going to the dance tonight. And we looked at him. We are. And he said, you've been dancing every night of the week. And I said, yes, well, we're going tonight. Saturday night was the most important. Crowd always seemed to me to be happy. And, and uh, when you uh, finished a dance, it came to the end of, of a dance and, and you had a break before you started the next one, there was generally quite a lot of noise, people talking in the hall. And uh, Charlie Cowell used to always say, while they're making a noise, they're happy. When they go quiet, you've got to start worrying. <laughs> no, there was uh, never seemed to be that thing that happened at the workers' hall. Everybody seemed to be in a happy mood and uh, you know, communicating with one another, talking, and uh, yeah, just waiting for the for the next uh, lot of music to start up. 
see there used to be there's not only dancers there workers like um the, 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 up at the catholic church there used to be dancers mm, there sat, railway sunday hotel, night railway yeah at the station. rail station we used to dance um, there and, and about three nights a week a, a, amherst and all these lot of little towns around had dancers as well so then i started teaching ballroom in the band hall the old band hall and it used to be crowded out we'd have 150 there of a night well, I really didn't go to the dance. We used to go to the pictures, girlfriends and I. And then when the pictures were finished, we'd run up from the paramount up to the, the hall and, and have a few dances and find someone to go home with. <laughs> and the lights went out at midnight, so we made sure that we had some way of getting home or Mother would have killed me, I think. And we used to go to the pictures first and then go to the dance after because we'd get in for one and threepence. In fact, I would say that if, if you could do a survey of people that are married in Mirraburra, I would say back in those days you would get a percentage of about 80 to 1 that, that met at the Workers' Hall. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, it's, it was a great meeting place. Mm, great social night. And was. as I said, she was the best looking Sheila in Mirraburra. Mm. Uh, and uh, four of us met our future wives up there on the same night. And they just about had their 50th uh, wedding anniversary not far away from when we did. Uh, I was uh, there one night down on the floor with my f friends, girlfriends, and then walked a sailor. And goodness me, everybody looked at this man. We didn't know him. and. Uh, we found out later he came from a Volca, but he, he, he loved dancing. And of course, the first place he made for when he got as far as Mirraburra was the workers' hall. And uh, uh, fortunately, I had a dance with him that night. Unfortunately, he took my girlfriend home. <laughs> that was the laugh of the night. But uh, we soon became friends. And uh, whenever he came home on leave, he wouldn't go straight home to Avoca where he came from. He'd stay overnight at one of the hotels. Uh, they got to know him well. And uh, that was it. We would look forward to meeting like that. And eventually it happened. We fell in love. Well, the first time I met Mel, I just walked in the, herc in the hall, knew no one and was probably, I was a pretty shy bloke in those days. <laughs> anyway, she winked at me, and that's how it started. Yeah, yeah, New Year's nine. Walked into the hall, and I won't say the words I said to myself, but I said, oh, there's that stuck up girl from Avoca, I'm gonna ask her to dance. So by half past nine, I'd had three dances with her and asked to take her home and was accepted. And that was it, you know? That was it. The start of it, yeah. It was good because it was good music and, you know, I love music and I, lo I love dancing and still dance. Mm. We've got wonderful memories and they're ours to keep. So I think we've done well in sharing with you. Thank you.